Hey, this is Casey and I am one mellow marigold. Been out and about doing a little maintenance on my tomato plants and I found a buddy who does not belong. <laughs> it's my first time experiencing hornworms. Let me show you what I'm dealing with. Okay, here's our affected tomato. Let me zoom in and let me show you this little dude. Ooh, he's icky. Look at that! I'm going to... Look off those two little leaves so you can see this bad boy better. Ew, ew, ew. So I would not have seen this hornworm unless those larvae were attached. Now I've never had a hornworm. I've never had to deal with this in particular. So of course I had to run and ask my garden friends, ew, ew, what do I do? Uh, so what do we do? Um, first of all, what I learned is that those little white jobbies those aren't eggs. Those are not eggs of the caterpillar or the worm. Uh, they are wasp eggs. So if you find a hornworm and you see the little white eggs, it's a good thing because they are going to kill that worm. And when they hatch, they are going to kill any other hornworms that are hanging out around my plants. Uh, so yay for wasps, but ew for big, gross, worm taken over my tomato plants. So whenever I have a problem that I cannot handle, um, I go to my garden TikTokers and my YouTube gardeners first, and they always show me the way. Uh, the consensus so far seems to be to leave him alone, just leave him sit on the plant, which ee, <laughs> feels kind of icky, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but we're doing that because we want those wasps to hatch and we want them to then go off and kill any other hornworms that might be around. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with that. But I did get a couple of tips from Small Block Fuel, so I'm gonna take them up above, thank you. Uh, you can use BT. I did not know this, you can use BT on your tomato plants to kind of keep them away. So I'm gonna do that after uh, I know that the wasps have hatched and done what they need to do. Also, Small Block Fuel tells me that I can go and look for their poop. <laughs> So I'm gonna go and meander about the plants and see if I can see any other visible signs of more hornworms. So we are looking for leaves with any holes in them or signs of damage. Uh, I understand we should be looking at the undersides of our plants. If you catch them when they're little bitty, you might be able to get rid of them. As much as I love nature, <laughs> I think nature's pretty cool for doing its own thing. Uh, I've worked really hard <laughs> to get these tomatoes this year, and I would like to save them for my belly. It has now been two days since I first found the hornworm, and so I've been out the last two nights uh, with a UV light, checking all the plants and looking for more, and so far I have not found any. I don't know if I'm just lucking out, or what, but so far I seem to just have that one dude. Uh, as far as our little buddy is concerned, he's still sort of hanging around. He twitches every now and again, but I don't think he's got a whole lot of time left in him. But I keep staring at him every day just to see what happens with these larvae. So anyway, that's it. Um, this is like the cool shit about gardening. I love learning new stuff. Um, you have new experiences. This is how you learn and grow as a gardener. Sometimes it's a little icky. Sometimes it's just plain cool. Sometimes it's a little of both. Anyway. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'm going to talk to you later, okay? Bye.